and I'm here at the Early On. Would you like to see what I brought for us to play with today? It's buttons. Have you ever wondered what you can do with buttons? If you don't have a button collection at home, you can easily purchase buttons at your local craft store or at the dollar store. Let me show the activities I have today. First, we could sort our buttons by color. Look at this nice big purple button I have. How about this one? What color is this one? Red, you've got it. And this one? You're right, I'm going to put it in the red bowl. How about this one? Purple, so I'm going to put it with my other purple button. So you can sort buttons by color, or maybe you want to sort by size. You can look for big buttons and little buttons. Another way you could sort your buttons is by shape. Let me show you these ones. Can you see what shape that button is? It's a heart, you're right. How about this one? A star, so I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Here comes another one, are you ready? A heart, so let's put it with the blue heart. So you can sort your buttons by shape. Once you've got your buttons all sorted, maybe you want to count them. Let's count my heart-shaped buttons. One, two, three, four, five. I have five heart-shaped buttons. Maybe you might want to try and make a pattern. Let's try it. I'm going to put a yellow button here and then a blue button. Do you know what color would come next in my pattern? Yellow, blue, yellow, you got it. How about next? Yellow, blue, yellow, blue. And what would we put in our last square? Yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, you got it, great job. Making patterns can be lots of fun. For the next activity, you will need a blank piece of paper and something to write with. On your piece of paper, I want you to draw a line. It could be a squiggly line, a zigzag line, or maybe just a straight line. Then with your buttons, you're going to place them on the line you drew all the way down. There we go. If you've got pipe cleaners at home, another thing you can do is use it to string your buttons on the pipe cleaner like this. This is a great activity for developing fine motor skills at home. Once your pipe cleaner's full, you might want to twist it into a bracelet or maybe you're going to make it into a snake. Use your imagination and see what you can create. Thanks for coming to the early on today and having fun with some buttons.